In previous versions of Vectorworks, if you created one side of a path and then used the offset tool to give you its parallel side, you still had to manually draw the two ends of the object, then compose all four sides into one polygon. As of Vectorworks 2012, this is no longer necessary. Here we have a nearly complete landscaping plan that we'd like to add a curved path to. We'll gray out the other layers to keep things simple, then choose the Arc tool. Keep in mind that this new ability of the Offset tool will work with any offsetable polygon, not just arcs. We'll draw out the right side of our curved path, then select the Offset tool. In the Offset tool preferences from the toolbar, make sure that Close Open Curves has been checked. For this example, we'll be using Offset by Point. Click OK. You can see the closed ends are already represented in the preview for this tool. We'll set the offset distance with a click, and our path has been created without the additional steps previously required. Another change to basic polygons, a circle or an arc created with the point on arc mode can now be modified by the 2D reshape tool without disturbing the endpoints of the arc itself as it would have in previous versions. Circles, once drawn, could always be reshaped by a point on their circumference without warping the circle. Arcs, however, would bend to reshape to a floating control point outside or inside the arc area. Now, if you double-click on an arc, even the example here made up of multiple arcs in a more complex pattern, you'll be able to grab a reshape handle right on each individual arc and modify its radius without altering the arc's endpoints at all. Any of the arcs along this object can be modified. This not only works with simple polylines, but can also be used on plug-in objects based on them, such as hardscapes and spaces. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit Vectorworks.net to see what else is new in Vectorworks 2012. Thank you, and have a great day.